I'm at 426 Sunset in Sugarloaf, California, and uh, I want to show the parameter of what's around it. Look at that cute little pup. So it looks like there's parking for one, and you could probably get another small car tucked in right here. Used to be a cool cabins. The neighbors that live here that have the dog, I'm sure would be so grateful if somebody bought the house that lived here. Nice little entrance, wooden porch. That's easy to shovel, which is really nice. Actually, this is really easy to get to your car when there's a lot of snow and your car's right there at the street. So that part's super cool. Looks like the gates are probably easy to fix. Hinge it back on. It looks like it's got a little split in the wood here. So just a simple little repair. Looks like easy access to uh, probably the, I don't really know what it is. Good question. Whew, a giant tree, which would be amazing from the second floor balcony because you'd be looking right into the heart of it. You could hang a little bird feeder up there. Backyard has a little bit of a slope to it, but nothing insane. Looks like the neighbors are kind of like pigs about the way they keep their backyard, but hell, it's not summer yet, so I don't know, but... That's definitely something that if you were to put up beautiful fencing around here, it would be awesome. It looks like the neighbors, um, they have a gate here and it appears that the lock is on this side. But the nice thing is all of this dead ends. So you have now got Kind of a cool access to cut through if you want. If you were to put an actual fence up here to um, block off this one side, I could see Rex going crazy, but they'd probably become friends. Hi, baby, are you just lonesome? I know. So let's see what's on this side. It's all right, sweetheart. It's okay, I'm just videotaping the house for my sister. Okay, come here. And she loves dogs. Oh, good. Come here. Come on, now. Come here. Oh, my goodness, what's your name? Opie. Opie? Yeah. All right. It's okay, I know. Well, I understand he's protective. Whoa. Yeah. Ah, the trees here are gorgeous. Yeah. You're the dog whisperer. You'd have that dog calm. Nice little area to barbecue. Actually, I think this is a really great house. Just have to put up couple of layers of bamboo to give yourself uh, on that one side a better view and then just plant a climbing vine of some type so that it becomes gorgeous and let's see the rest of the neighborhood's very very peaceful looks like you got a nice 
Wow, that's weird. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like some kind of a pump. The fact that it's red is good. I wonder what they used to rent this place out for. Be a cool place for rental, that's for sure. Cool thing, can't really see in the front door. And actually the living room looks really skinny on the internet, but it seems to look wider in person. You can get creative on that. So, um, the nice thing is there's no windows that are really staring. Like this is the neighbor's house and there's nothing where anybody's looking at you. That's excellent. And when you stand here, you do get a pretty view. This tree here, right here, would be so cute decorated. It's like a little Christmas tree at your front door. Both of them. That part I like. When this is full of leaves in the summer, wow, this tree is going to be stunning in the summer. And you can tell it's an oak tree because of the oak leaves on the ground. Looks like there's a lot of little flowers there that are going to be coming up here, too. Look, Henry's waiting for me in the car. Okay. The rest of the street looks very, very calm. Right at the end there, that green building is the parking lot for the, um, I think it's the maintenance for the school. And turn around um, the walk up your street is beautiful and you don't have to very go very far if you want to get down to Easy's Market or to Callan's I like it it's very calm here I love that there's two balconies too. Sitting out on that top one, wow, it would be peaceful. Okay, well, that's it.